This year, we've seen just how important our homes and neighbourhoods are to the health and well-being of ourselves and the communities we all rely on. This experience has raised fundamental questions about how we live and the kinds of homes we need. In order to build back better, we need to rethink not only what we build, but the way we own, manage and control the homes we live in. Some scenes like this may be familiar, but we're not just talking about community engagement here. All over London, residents are coming together and partnering across public and private sectors to deliver housing models that are affordable, sustainable, viable, publicly supported and democratically controlled, with these benefits protected in the long term. Building on this growing wealth of experience, we are championing five ideas to help London build back better. From the top, these are a circular economy for the, pri for the private rented sector, resident empowered social housing, home ownership as a collective endeavour to build mutual support into the very fabric of our homes and to revive long term stewardship for today's economy. So to kick off, we want to reimagine elements of the private rented sector as a circular economy by scaling cooperative ownership and coordinating resources between existing co-ops to unlock investment in long-term affordable housing. Housing co-ops retain and reinvest surpluses from rent back into the homes they own and have the ability to lend to other co-ops through loan stock. London's 300 plus existing co-ops therefore represent a collective borrowing power with the potential to deliver financially sustainable homes at scale and an attractive tenure model for London's private renters. And this is happening. In South London, Community Assets for Social Housing have established a community land trust as a mechanism to pool resources and invest in new cooperative housing. And in doing so, boost the development of affordable, secure and supportive homes across the capital. Second, we, want to, we, we are proposing to change the way council housing is delivered and managed by re-empowering residents to take the lead when and where they are best placed to do so. This means placing resident knowledge and experience at the centre of decision making, whilst retaining land in public hands. To do this, we're working to re-establish tenant management organisations. TMOs are knowledgeable in the opportunities and risk of development, as well as on costs and long-term cash flow. And they're cost efficient, with savings invested back into the homes and spaces they manage. And this is also happening. In 2018, Leather Market TMO completed a 27-unit infield development on their estate in Southwark, with full support of residents and resolving overcrowding on the estate. And on costs, the TMO's in-house management team are 40% cheaper than those procured by the council and they make a 25% saving on contractors. Thirdly, we want to reimagine home ownership as a collective endeavour, with ownership models that redistribute resources among residents and provide long-term flexibility and security of tenure. To do this, we're supporting the growth of mutual home ownership societies to harness the collective borrowing power of London's residents while allowing households to own and accrue, and accrue equity over time. By removing homes from the spe speculative market, MHOS also ensures long-term aff affordability and a genuinely resident-led alternative to shared ownership. And this too is happening. At Lilac in Leeds, residents pioneered the first MHOS in the UK, with recent projects also emerging in London. Lilac's 20 units are 100% affordable, linked to 35% of household incomes, with equity staircasing over the course of the tenure. Next, we want to future-proof our communities by building in care and mutual support into the physical and legal structures that make up our homes. This means thinking about what health and well-being really means in the context of housing, and demanding more from industry in order to live better. To do this, we need to take the principles that underpin so many community-led housing projects and apply them at scale. Principles such as collective responsibility, building relationships and support networks, democratic representation, making sure everyone's voice is heard, and mutual aid, which so many people have relied on these last few months. And once again, this is happening. The Older Women's Co-Housing Project in Barnet is a pioneering example of these principles in action. 
with legal and organisational structures that prioritise mutual support, reinforced by award-winning design, the scheme promotes an approach to care that is necessary for people at every stage of life. And lastly, we want to revive long-term stewardship for today's economy as a solution to long-term disinvestment in infrastructure, such as homes, schools, children's centres and pubs, that make up the very fabric, fabric of our communities. To do this, we want to position community land trusts to invest strategically at a local scale. By planting the seed at the beginning of a master plan, with local support and a robust business case, CLTs can harness people power to support and invest in housing, commercial and social infrastructure, and take on long-term management and maintenance risk. And unsurprisingly, this is happening too. In Newham, E16 Community Land Trust are working with public and community sectors to ensure the 900 home regeneration of Custom House meets the needs of existing residents and delivers long-term affordability through collective democratic ownership. So to ensure the long-term health and well-being of communities in London, this is the new normal for housing that we need. And we want to be clear that these are not radical ideas. They exist today in projects across the city, together with the resources to apply them at scale. At Community-Led Housing London, we provide one-to-one -one project support, training and mentoring to community groups and across the public and private sectors, as well as revenue and capital funding available to get projects off the ground. Find us at communitylethousing.london.